Hey guys, right, welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. Let's continue, shall we? We've got Pastel to go find and kick in the teeth. But before we do that, let's go give the last moonfish to our friend here. Hi. Hi. Hi there. I see you've got some moonfish. Here, let's feed the little critter. Well, enjoy. These are the last two. So I wonder what we're going to get this time. Ooh. I think that's just something that we can sell. Again, it was probably going to be more important than that. Right, let's feed. Yeah, that's one of the idols. That literally the only thing we do with that is sell it. We might actually have had more than two on us, to be honest. Right, what have we got? Fiber mail, eh? Interesting. Looks like you've still got a cool. Yep, keep it going. Fiber mail. Not sure who that's for, actually. Shame this little guy is going to starve to death. Marksman gun? Well, we have no use for that. Thank you for always bringing fish for me. Look at how much uh, Picolio has grown. Whoa, and to think you used to be small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Tell me about it. Who would have thought it would grow this big? Picolio, let's go play over there. Chirp. <laughs> Maria, be careful. If that big guy starts running around, this rugby old ship won't hold together long. I know. Picolio, come on over here. Might be worth uh, you guys joining us. Wait a minute. Haven't we already done this? Tell you the rest of the story. It's hard for me to talk about it. But if Maria can be strong enough to get over her past... I can't sit here and dwell on my past either. I guess I've finally become strong enough to realize that. Well, if you must know then, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the tragedy that befell Ramirez. I'm... Oh, Ramirez. I'm pretty sure... Depend on a person too much now, but yeah. Yeah, we've, we've seen all this. Yeah, we know that he was using the Xtakans for his own personal profit. He forced them to work a few extra hours here and there. Pocketed all the extra moonstones that they found. Yeah, we know this. Yeah, because this is what drives uh, Ramirez over the edge. To find out that this nice guy that he's been working for is actually like a steaming piece of dog shit and was working the uh, slaves to death. So he murdered everybody. <gasps> what have you done? I, I'm sorry, Doc. I murdered a monster. I can no longer trust humans. Ramirez! Yeah, but you are a human yourself, so... And so Ramirez went on to Galcian's side, and I believe you know the rest of the story. I had spent much time with him. If only I had the strength to stop him, Mendoza, Ramirez, and even Maria, all of their lives would have turned out so much differently. Yeah, because this is where we find out. Um, that name! Wait a second there. Fina, don't you think... But I heard some air pirates. Yeah, passing through helped save... Yeah. Yeah, we've done this. She went missing after the accident. Nobody knows what happens to her. Yeah, we know where she is. Uh -huh. There's no doubt about it. Maria and Pastel are long lost sisters. <gasps> we got to tell Pastel. Pastel said that she would come fight us again sometime. When we see her, we'll tell her everything we know. What she does with this information is up to her. 
I still say we should throw a body overboard, but that's just me. Um, do we have more moonfish? Or was that all of them? Hi. Hi. Hey, nope, we've still got some more moonfish. This might actually be the last few. So we got a gun for Gilda. Which is cool. Alright, what have we got? Hydra Wing, Silver Arm, and the Serpent Strike. Yeah, pretty sure they're like top end weapons. They're the juicy meatballs that we've been uh, waiting for. <gasps> FaZe, look, something's different about him. What's wrong? <gasps> Ooh. He's got a funky new hairdo. Wow, he just keeps getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think if anything ate that many moonfish, it would grow at least half as much. But I bet that Maria's real happy that he's grown so much. Huh, Doc? You'd think so, but life doesn't always turn out the way you'd expect. Colio, he wants to go home. Huh? Colio has grown wings, so now he's saying he wants to go home. Home to where all his friends are. I think he has a point though. If we don't return him to nature, he'll never find any of his own kind. Let a lion find someone to marry. He's a bird, dude. But the one thing that keeps me worried is that if this guy leaves, Murray is going to fall into depression again. Uncle Doc, I'll, I'll be fine. Ma Maria? Ever since Daddy and my sister went away, I've been so lonely. And I think, uh, Colio feels lonely too. I'm going to miss him, but I think he should go home where he won't be lonely anymore. I have you and Vase to take care of me too. Hey, wait a minute. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I don't have to be lonely anymore. Well, you sure have grown, Maria. Vase. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, for God's sakes. I think this is the same Maria. To think this is the same Maria that I've been caring for all these years. I can't believe it. I owe everything to you. Now, yeah, make some gold, man. Well, I guess he's gone, like a fart in a fan factory. Hey, it looks like he's getting ready to leave. Yeah, he's just gone. It's like, peace out. <laughs> Thanks for all the fish. Sort of reminds you of when we left Air Pirate Isle, eh? Goodbye, Picolio. Be nice to your new friends and come back and see me sometime. Yeah, uh. <laughs> Literally just. He's off. Not a care in the world. <sighs> Hopefully, he doesn't get eaten by something along the way. So, he's obviously gone back to Hamachow Island. Something very Mario Galaxy about this music. You have found the Moon Hamachu. Oh, Moon Hamachu. Thanks to the Air Pirate Vase and his friends, Doc and the, mis uh, the mysteries of the Moon Hamachu have been solved. Once fed a moonfish, the Moon Hamachu will undergo a metamorphosis and will eventually return home to its nest. This discovery will go down in history. Okay, cool. Right, I don't know if we can actually talk to them again. Hey guys, how have you been? Thanks for all your hard work. Maria and I have just been doing fine. And hey, if you're ever in the area, feel free to stop by whenever you want. Come back soon. Uh, yeah, so in other words, piss off. 
Right, well. Let's have a little look at some of this stuff, shall we? Thunder Cutlass. So I guess we didn't get anything for Vase. Huh. Unless the fiber mail. Ooh. Very effective armor woven from a special type of moth armor. Yes, I thought I remembered that. Interesting. So it puts our defense down. Uh, it puts our attack down. Yeah, it's not really worth it. Okay. Right, well, what else did we get? Equipment. Ice splitter. We've got the Hydra wing, which is significantly better, actually. A boomerang modified by the Valuant Army with reinforcements for close quarters combat. Yes. Definitely going to have the Hydra wing. Anything for Fina? I don't think we've got anything for Fina. Cupel Claymore, no skull cap. Now, what we kind of want for her. Uh, is it the Constitution Gem? Uh, yeah. We're going to put that on her for our next fight. Moonlit robe, yep. Uh, okay. Enrique, anything for you? Ooh. So, we got the Serpent Strike. A powerful sword worn by warriors of the Silver Civilization can turn enemies into stone. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we like that. And it does more damage as well. Not a huge amount more damage, but more damage is more damage. Um, right, what else can we have? So, Vise, Ica, Fina. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, let's hit up Pirate Island. Or Sailor's Island, I should say. And we need to check out the shops as well, because it's possible there's new stuff in here that I've overlooked. Because apparently um, these got updated. Right, let's have a little look. What are you buying? Right, so we've got the mining arm, value and pistol. It's expensive, it's probably quite good. Um, right. So, Enrique. So, the Vengeance Armor is good. And the Swift Dress. Which is actually better. Damn, that's not bad. Right, well, let's get... So defense plus 20 and magic defense as well. But I guess that's hit and dodge goes down significantly. Hmm, I'll get two of those for the girls. Sure. Does seem to be a better idea. Swift dress. Right, well, let's have a look what else we've got here. Um, Prophet Sand protects against magic. Yep, improves defense. Scout Wing. Oh, God. Sky Cutlass. My God, man. Used by pirates and fishermen alike. <laughs> the edge is perfect for cleaning fish. Yeah, well, that's not really what we want, is it? Flutter blade. So that flutter blade would actually have been pretty good. 
So the mining arm. We're not going to worry about any of that stuff. I mean, potentially, I suppose we could get these. Because we will get those guys back. But I don't think we're going to use them. So, maybe not. A small pistol used by value and assistance. Can cause instant death with a good shot. That's pretty good. No, we don't need that anymore. See, we've got the silver silver arm. Yeah, that's actually better anyway. Frostblade. Don't need that. Don't really need any of this stuff either. Might as well sell it for a few pennies. It's all pretty much obsolete now anyway, I think. Um... Where is Wisdom Crystals? No, 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 no. Where was that? There we go. Yeah, 25,000. Don't mind if we do. Okay, cool. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Right. Now, let's go see if we can sell our final discovery. And whilst we're there, we'll go grab that black spot. Alright there, dude. I cannot believe it! Sky Battle King Vase is here. Right, let's see if... Oh no, we don't want to buy anything, we want to sell. There it is. Whoa, 40,000. That's insane. That is literally insane. So. We've already done those guys. We need to take him out. And Lord Zilvian Bane. Okay. Wait just a minute, I almost forgot. Here, this came addressed to you. You received a black spot. It's a message from the Angel of Death. Sounds like you're in trouble. Better watch your back out there. Yeah, I'm not actually that worried, to be honest. Um, now, so if we go to our journal discoveries. Now, yeah, this is like completely full up now. So that would tell me that we've got all the discoveries in the game, but I'm pretty sure actually there's one left to find. A hidden one, but I might be wrong about that. Because I thought there was 89 discoveries and we've now got 88. Anywho, let's go find Pastel. Wherever she is. Is this her? That is not her. She should. That is a weather balloon. That is definitely not what we want to be fighting. Really, guys? What a waste of our time. Get out of here. I actually got a moonberry for that. Right, so Pastel, she is usually, if we go back here. Um, there's the ship. She like, I'm sure she was like south. She's not. She shouldn't be that far away. Ah, there she is. Right, cool. Let's go do this thing. Let's go kick her in the neck. Before we do, let's drop a save. Just in case we do run into any difficulties. Although I don't think we will. We should be okay. 
Ominous. Vase, this will be our final battle. Aye? Wait a second. There's something we need to tell you. Nothing can save you now. The only thing I desire is to watch Vase fall by my hand. That is all I live for. Ugh. I will defeat you. The last seven years of my life rests on the outcome of this very battle. On guard. <laughs> okay, cool. Whatever. To gut a fish. I shall have my revenge at last. Uh-huh. You've said that like three other times. So what we're gonna do, let's kill the doggo first. Um we're definitely gonna wanna use Delta Shield. And again, kill the doggo. And you, I guess we're gonna want just a shield. Now, hopefully, just rinse and repeat. We should be okay, more or less. Oh, yeah, like, unless she does that, of course. Oh, boy. Maybe this is going to be significantly more inconvenient than I thought. So what we're going to do, Pirate's Wrath on the dog. Uh, Ike, uh, Fina, I want you to try and use some magic. Ugh. Do we have any way? Right, cool. So we can use that. Um, this is not great, actually. Okay, well, if she uses the Tempest Dance, we should, if we're lucky, survive. Maybe. Yeah, just. Literally just. That's fine. We can return in kind on the dog. Man, that was rough. We got really unlucky there. Good. So we should be able to recover next turn. And get back to business. Alright, that was. That got off to a really bad start. Okay, so let's just attack the dog. Um, Ika, I'm gonna need you to use. Delta Shield. I'm gonna need you, Fina, to heal. Do we have the full heal? Cure. Hang on. Yeah, that we might actually use in a minute. Nah, we're going to hold on to that, I think. Restores all HP for one ally. Yeah, Vase needs that. And special move, just a shield. Okay. Hopefully, Fina can actually, like, go next. Because... Kind... Oh, dear. Okay, that's fine. Please don't stone her. Don't think it worked. It didn't. Good. Please don't counter attack. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oof, right. Back in business, boys. Back in business. That was, a, that was a little bit scary there for a minute. Um, special move. Let's go for Pirate's Wrath. Actually, no. We don't really want to go. Let's just go for Cutlass Fury on this dog. Um, and then... Just keep going. As usual. Fina, I want you to... You know what, Fina? Your attack's kind of a useless... So, 
Uh, let's cast. Let's cast. Where is it? Glyph of Might. Let's just go for Glyph of Might on base. Let's start getting some buffing going. Probably a really good idea in hindsight. Yeah, absolutely necessary, necessary, absolute necessity to get all of these moves going. Right, hopefully, oh yes, right, the dog's gone. That's one problem solved. So now we can go Pirate's Wrath and we still have enough to use our other abilities, Delta Shield, um, I think. Uh, I guess we just keep buffing everybody. If nothing else, just to soak up a little bit of extra damage, I guess. Justice shield. May righteousness be our shield. Shield of justice. Because that is all we need right now. Now let's see just how strong she is. Yeah. Ooh, that's rough. That's really rough. But that's okay. Ooh, okay. It does a somewhat decent amount of damage. I do mean somewhat decent. It's not brilliant, but it's acceptable. Okay. You know what? Um, I guess... Nah, yeah, well, I guess we're just going to keep hammering her with that. Because that might be a slightly quicker way of doing things. Um, now, we want... For all allies, yeah, do that. Um, and you know the drill, Justice Shield. gonna keep chipping away. Uh oh. That's bad. But that's why we use Justice Shield. How much damage does this do? Actually it doesn't do a lot does it? It's probably more efficient saving up. That was nice. Yeah I think it's more efficient to just save up our attacks. Um, just to get the pirate wrath going. Um, you know what? I guess we'll just use another crystal, I suppose. Just got to keep making sure everybody's buffed. Yeah, that really hurts. Really freaking hurts. Now I'm hoping the counter attack. Okay, so the counter attack doesn't. Ooh, not quite. It'll be next turn. Because if we use that, we're not going to have enough. Yeah, it's not going to be worth it. Delta shield. Just keep using your crystals. And you know the drill. Yeah, we're definitely, like, at the point where we're out healing her. Which is exactly where we want to be. We could, I suppose, save up. I don't know if it's worth saving up for our ultimate ability. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I would imagine it might be more efficient to do that. 
Right, well, she's kind of got nothing to do, so you know what? Let's just use a glyph of speed. Because buffing everybody's speed isn't exactly going to hurt now, is it? 10 plus dance, that's fine. Yeah, we don't need to save up for an ultimate attack. Really doesn't matter. We should... Yeah, just go for a standard attack. Delta shield. Uh, you, Fina, just pop another one of those crystals. And you, you know the drill. This is a well-oiled machine. With unbeatable tactics, apparently. Okay, 32. Pirate's Wrath. You know what to do. That's it. Uh, you know, I think we're just going to use another one of those. Tempest Dance. Shouldn't really do much. This might be her dead. Yep, got her. You must be getting really bored of defeat by now. That actually was fun. Wow, that's a lot of gold and XP. Uh, I think everybody's going to level. Yeah, that was juicy. And that was a lot of magic XP as well. And cash. Pastel. Or Piastal. I knew I would lose, having fought you three times already. I knew that I was no match for you. Only a fool would think otherwise. That's it. And I know that you weren't lying. Then why? Why do you still fight? If it wasn't you air pirates that took my father's life, then what have the last seven years of my life been me been for? Yeah. Let's just keep lying to ourselves, because it's easier than facing the truth. <laughs> uh, oh, I made myself feel bad. For what reason have I fought alone all these long years? It's like seven years. You're like 17 or something. So you grow up. I lost my reason for living. No. It was wrong for me to only live for revenge in the first place. That is why I thought that I deserved to die by your hand, to cleanse myself of this lie that I have lived. Yes, because that makes sense. Piastal. <laughs> Piastal. Near Sailor's Island, there is a small doctor's ship. Go find it. Doc and your sister, Maria, are aboard that ship. But what? <laughs> if you're lying to me, I shall make you pay with your life. Yeah, like you haven't already tried. Hey now, didn't you just say that you believed us? Better do something about that. Yeah, you better do something about that temper of yours. Yeah. Faze, is it, is it really true? Can I trust you? But no, I can't see them. Not like this. Not as the angel of death. More like the angel of failure. I mean, come on. I can't let them know what has become of me. Oh, come on. Relax, Piastal. Just go see them already. Yeah, stop before this, like, emo, dramatic nonsense of yours. I'm sure that Doc and Maria would be more than happy to see you too. Now get going. We don't have time to sit here and smell the roses. We've got sailing to do. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to tell you one thing. <laughs> that could be taken either way. Piasol, you're not the angel of death. You never were. <laughs> angel of failure. You've always been Maria's older sister. Just ask her. I'm sure she'll tell you the same. <sighs> Faze, I, I don't know what to say. Maybe we'll see you again somewhere out in this big blue sky. Until then, Pius. Oh, oh, the cheese. 
But it's delicious cheese, though, so, you know. Okay, really? Is that literally it? Hang on, let's go grab this big fish over here. Really? They will be fish? Alright. Alright, let's go see if we can actually find that ship now. And see if they're all together, one big happy family. More or less, anyway, because, you know, Dad's dead, but... There we go. Right. Let's go check these guys out. Oh, we can. Cool. Oh, hey, it's Vase. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. I don't have much to offer in the way of comforts, but you're free to stay as long as you wish. Oh, hey, I almost forgot to tell you something. Piastall came back the other day. The other day? R really? Yep. It was a day I'll never forget. <laughs> I excuse me. Um, are you one of Uncle Doctor's patients? Uh, that says a lot about him. Uh, no. Nothing like that. I was just, uh, passing and I thought I'd drop in. Oh, I see. Were you looking for something out there? I saw you staring out at the sky. Yeah, my friend, Picolio, is out there somewhere. I was just wondering how he was doing. Colio used to live here, but he flew home to be with his friends. He's a bird, you know. I see. Must be lonely for you without him. Yeah. Picolio and I are like each other. We were both so lonely with no other friends. But he grew up, and I was able to go see his friends. Oh, cool. But Uncle Doc told me something. He told me that I have a big sister. And that my big sister is out there somewhere. Flying through the skies. I wonder if I'll ever get to meet her. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, yeah. I'm sure you will someday. I'm sure you will. I just know it. Yeah. Really? You think so? Wow. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, wait, there's more. Would it be okay if I came back, you know, to talk with you again? Of course. Thank you. You don't know how much that means to me. So she's not just going to, like, blurt it all out. I think she wants to get to know her little by little. To ease back into things someday, there'll be family again. Uh, makes sense. Kind of. Vise, I've heard about you and Ramirez from various rumours from sailors passing through. One of you, either you or Ramirez, will not walk away alive from this mess. Which means I will lose one of my dear friends either way. Dear friends? I mean, dude, we came along and gave you some fish. That's basically uh, how... You know, that's the... As far as our friendship has gone, as far as I've known. Doc. Baze, just follow your instincts. Do what you have to do. I know you're sailing the path that you feel is right. I get the feeling that deep down inside, Ramirez is going to do the same. Good luck, Vase. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it's definitely not going to be Ramirez that's walking away, that's for sure. Right, anyway guys, that's going to have to do it for this episode. So we finally finished off um, 
Pyrestal's quest line. Wool of Moonfish. Um, I guess that's case closed there. Uh, kind of cool. Kind of cool. Um, Age of Death. I mean, she's she was a strange character, wasn't she? She's a, oh god, dark, moody teen. There we go. Um, so when we come back, uh, I think we might go looking for some bounties because then we're quickly approaching pretty much all of the side stuff. Um, yeah, I think we've pretty much done all of the side stuff that we need to do then. So that's it. We've got all the battles. Might I don't know how many ship battles we've had. Might have to go do a few more of those. We must have done nine. Maybe not though, because it has to be nine. It has to be nine ship battles that aren't story related. So I might go do a couple more uh, off camera. Yeah. So anyway, guys, till next time.